Breaking news and exclusive Cosmos Airdrop Alpha that you don't find anywhere else. You really only find this here on CryptoCito. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, with your neighbor, with your grandmother, share it with everyone that you think needs to hear about this. In yesterday's video, I explained to you the concept of LST Phi, liquid staking X DeFi, the crossover, the merge between those two categories. And I think that's going to be a huge, huge narrative moving forward as we have those multi, multi-billion dollar tokens launching left and right. Liquid staking is going to be a huge, huge narrative and just naturally has very strong product market fit. So if you haven't watched this video yet, please go ahead and watch right after watching this video. It's just 11 minutes and you'll learn everything about liquid staking and our content partner, Persistence, P-Stake and how their solution works. And as I also explained in the video from yesterday, liquid staking as a category or as a narrative is by far the largest one when it comes to TVL, which is the metrics for total value locked. For liquid staking, it's actually total value unlocked because it liquefies staked or locked assets, but that's just on the side. So liquid staking is already today the largest category by TVL, lending only 22 billion and DEXs, even though there are 10 times more DEXs, but they all share only $14 billion in TVL uh, amongst each other. Obviously for DEXs, I think the more interesting metrics is actually volume and not necessarily TVL, but I think it just gives you an indication of how big and how important liquid staking as a category is, right? And now what actually is happening is that you're merging liquid staking with lending, with decentralized exchanges, with a lot of these subcategories and it all kind of comes together because it's one thing to liquefy assets and it's a whole different thing to use this derivative in DeFi, right? And I think that's what we're also going to be talking about today is around Celestia and the TIA token, which is a $20 billion token that just launched a few months ago. But that means a lot of value that is currently locked because TIA also has a three-week bonding period or unbonding period which means if you want to unstake your stake TIA, and we can look into some metrics in a second, you have to wait. You have to wait three weeks. Now, the first mover for TIA liquid staking was not Stride, was also not P-Stake or Quicksilver, which are kind of the predominant players in the Cosmos ecosystem, specifically Stride when it comes to TVL, but Milky Way, which is a new liquid staking provider that is tailored for Celestia and was just the first mover and they already have 42.69 million or 2.5 million TIA in their protocol. If you compare this number with Stride, which is the market leader for liquid staking in Cosmos, Stride is at 87.4 million, but they have all also been around for much longer. And they have a lot more tokens. As you can see, Atom, Osmo, Stargaze, Juno, Fmos, a lot more. But not even their Atom liquid staking solution has as high of a TVL as TIA on Milky Way. That's why we have breaking news today, which is that Stride is launching liquid staking for TIA and with it, they're also going to do a massive 5 million Stride tokens. 5 million Stride tokens at the current price are around 16, 17 million US dollars that will be airdropped to users holding STTIA over the next 150 days. And this is starting right now here today. So the high level summary is that 5 million Stride tokens will be allocated, which is 5% of the total max supply of Stride. Stride has 100 million token total supply, will be airdropped to STTR holders, which is launching right now. Snapshots will be taken daily and they will continue to happen for the next 150 days. And there's also a 2x bonus for users holding STTR in the first 60 days. So they want to bootstrap liquidity fast. They want to bootstrap uh, TVL as fast as possible to eventually catch up or even overtake um, overtake Milky Way. And the Stride airdrop will then be claimable six months after the date it was earned, which I guess if you if you liquid stake STTR tomorrow, then six months from tomorrow, you will get your STRD, which means you, you would get a continuous airdrop. At least that's how I understand it. And it also helps shape the STTR as modular money kind of thesis. Like I said in the beginning, TIA is a very, very huge multi-billion dollar token that is now also implemented in all these rollups. And it is also a hot airdrop token itself. So STTR could be um, unlocking a lot of a lot of value for that and the fluidity for the TIA token itself. 
because Tia also still has very decent APR, right? 14% at the current rate. And what is very important though, is that if you are liquefying your Tia through Stride, you must hold them on the Stride blockchain and not send them back to the Celestia blockchain or to any other blockchain. And if you buy STTR on Osmosis, send them back to the Stride blockchain because otherwise you might not be considered for the airdrop. But also saying on Monday, so today is Thursday, at least I think it's Thursday. Um, on Thurs on Monday, you will be able to also uh, consider it if you hold STTR on other chains. So this is the high level game plan. And to summarize, 5 million stride tokens will be distributed as basically a continuous airdrop, or basically it's like uh, STRD farming that you're essentially doing. Um, if you are liquefying your TIA, your Celestia tokens, if you have your TIA staked already right now, natively on chain, which I think, you know, makes a lot of sense, um, you would have to unstake them, which I don't actually think is, is a smart move because also I think TI itself will be considered for a lot of airdrops. But I also know that the Stride team is working really hard to make sure that ST TI holders will be considered for all these airdrops. I also had a call with them recently. Like that's one of their top priorities. They're in talks with all of the rollups that are launching on, on Celestia to make sure that ST TI will also be considered for airdrops that are happening in the TI ecosystem and not just natively staked TI. On a daily basis, then these snapshots will happen. Just imagine there's a bucket, a daily bucket of STRD tokens. They take snapshots of those um, ST, ST TI positions. And then on a pro rata basis, how, you know, how much ST TI you hold from the total pie of ST TI, you would then get a share of these STRD rewards. And in the first 60 days, there will be a 2x bonus. So you'll get a lot more if you do that in the early, early days, right? So I think even like over the weekend now, that's going to be probably where you, where you can make the most rewards on your STTR. So the big question now is P-Stake going to be next? Is Persistence the next chain that will enable liquid staking for TIA? And the answer for that is in yesterday's spaces. In yesterday, Twitter spaces with the Persistence One team. Also, we had Andy in the house and Rebel DeFi and a couple more people where we talked about this, right? And instead of watching something else, instead of watching, I don't know, uh, Donald Trump campaigning or Andrew Tate or uh, Jordan Peterson or something like that, which kind of gets gets repetitive, listen to something like this. This is highly, highly educational stuff, liquid staking in Cosmos. And we talk about this. We talk about this. One of the concerns here is, and that's actually something that both Milky Way and Stride have in common now, is that Celestia currently, the blockchain, Celestia blockchain, does not implement interchain accounts. And interchain accounts are important for liquid staking protocols such as Stride, but also PStake to be compatible with their protocol in a decentralized way without requiring a multi-sig, right? So when Milky Way launched, they just bypassed all that and they kind of launched very, very fast and have this crazy TVL now because it is eventually dependent on a multi-sig, right? And it's governed by a multi-sig. And a multi-sig basically means that a few people can control this protocol, right? Which is super centralized and extremely risky, but of course they can move much faster. And um, it's it seems like this is just a quick, you know, strategy in the beginning to get a lot of TVL. And then in the future, obviously they aim to decentralize, but I think it's just important for you as a listener and maybe not as deeply connected and in touch with all of these teams to be aware of this, right? So Stride is on a similar path here, um, but you know they also been in talks with the team. And apparently, that's the information I got. The Celestia team is also planning to actually implement um, implement uh, interchain accounts in the coming months. So that would also then enable P Stake to join the team and to also implement. Um, liquid staking for that. And also Quicksilver. I think Quicksilver is also on a on a big recovery um, uh, track right now. And they're also coming back now with also the Notional team being more involved at Quicksilver um, and so on and so forth. And what's interesting here is that the bonded ratio for TIA is actually at 48.92%. And I actually don't think that this is going to go down because of that campaign. But I think a lot of people might unstake. However, be informed that if you choose to unstake here, you actually have to wait. Um, I think it's 21 days. You can actually check that here also in the back. If you go on parameters, you can scroll down here. 
And yes, it's 21 days is the unbonding time. This is all here. You can verify it for yourself um, for each chain because it's always different. Atom also has 21 days, but um, Juno and uh, DYDX, for example, have 28 days. Osmo only has 14 days, but Tia has 21, which means if you're unstaking now because you want to FOMO into this campaign for 21 days, you are not earning staking rewards. If there's a snapshot in that period during those 21 days, you're not considered for that snapshot. And um, yeah, you're just missing out on rewards. And in those 21 days, you're also not accruing the STRD tokens, right? Which means like 15% or something of that campaign is already over, right? And I think especially the early days are the high reward days, right? For, for the STRD token um, airdrop. So just something for you to like be aware, do with that information, obviously, whatever you want. If you want to unstake, feel free to unstake. If you buy new TIA and want to ape in immediately and liquefy, or you buy ST TIA directly once there are liquidity pools, I, I, I would assume on osmosis, but maybe also other exchanges, then just be aware that, you know, to be on the safe side, move them onto the stride chain itself and don't hold them on osmosis or anywhere else. So that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe also to the Cito Zone Alpha newsletter, to the Cito report. We are actually in the midst of launching a website at Cito.zone. So we will have a proper website where all of this is going to be illustrated. We'll have a lot of things plugged into this, maybe even some sort of airdrop checker or something like that. Um, a lot more content, a lot more links and, and th things for you to navigate through. I'll leave you with that. I hope you learned something. Now go over to watch yesterday's video about liquid staking finance, liquid staking X DeFi, and how persistence is resolving that with PSAG. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe and be good.